What's up, gamer girls? It's your fourth favorite potassium-based breakfast food here today to talk about all of the new Heart of the Mountain perks that are coming out in the next mining update. There's a big mining update on the alpha. I don't really want to read all of the patch notes, but I do want to look at the Heart of the Mountain because it is pretty interesting what they're doing because there's a huge shakeup between just moving perks around, new perks, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's look at Heart of the Mountain. Also, remember to use code BANANA on the Hypixel store for 5% off and to prevent me from going homeless. First and foremost, mining speed is unchanged. They didn't do anything to it. But mining speed boost did get a pretty large change. Previously, if you had a blue cheese goblin omelet, which I do have on, and I'm going to be using that when I'm looking at every ability here, you could get up to 400% mining speed. Now it is 250. So the max speed that you're getting has gone down by a bit. I believe every level got tuned where it used to be like 250 at level two, and now it is 200, and that now it's 250 at level three rather than 400 so it's a pretty big jump down for mining speed boost meaning that you're probably not going to see this on every single build like it has been being ran for the longest time Precision mining, which used to be over here, is now right next to mining speed boost. And this is going to give you that Fortnite style like crit target on ores or dwarven metals. It used to be on gemstones as well. So that's kind of an annoying change, but you're going to get 30% more speed when you're looking at that crit, which definitely does add up because that's going to be applied to mining speed boost. That's going to be applied to any kind of speed that you have. And it's literally multiplicative speed. There's only one other spot to get that. And that's mining speed boost. So definitely precision mining is worth looking at since it's in such a free spot now right at the beginning. Mining fortune got nerfed down to be two fortune per level instead of five. So that's a little annoying, but there is some perks later on in the tree that kind of balance this out. And then you have titanium and sanium over here instead of over there. And you have picobulus, which got a really big buff. Previously, it used to be a two meter radius at default, and you could get it up to three meters whenever you had a blue cheese. Now it's not three meters. It's still only 2.5. But you can see the cooldown now on Picobulus is 40 seconds. That used to be 110 seconds when you had it at level 3, which is absurd. A 70 second cooldown cut on this is going to mean that you're throwing your pickaxe a lot. And I think that Picobulus, while it's already being used in like ability swap builds whenever you're in the Glacite tunnels, it's going to be used much more on like a main level because you're going to be able to throw it very, very often. One thing that I should note is that they actually removed the ability to to swap abilities whenever one is on cooldown. So you're not going to see the ability swap meta like it's been in the Glacite tunnels where you swap between Mining Speed and Picobulus. You're going to have to pick one. And this should make Picobulus pretty competitive in that slot. And they said that if this cooldown change isn't enough for it, they're going to reduce it even further. Luck of the Cave is in the same spot and it acts the same. Efficient Miner is now going to give Mining Spread, which is a stat that affects specifically just blocks and ores. It's not going to be affecting gemstones. And it's just going to act the exact same here where it's giving the same amount of blocks breaked and stuff. It's just going to be a different stat. And then Quick Forge got moved from over here to up here. So you do have to commit a little more for Quick Forge, which is kind of annoying. But I think that the trade-off off being that you're getting precision mining in this slot rather than just randomly getting quick forge when you don't really need it is pretty nice because if you want quick forge it's still very easy to get there it's just that it's not like a guaranteed you have it sky mall is clarified to now say that it works on every mining island but all the perks are going to remain the exact same old school is a new perk that gives ore fortune you're going to get up to 100 ore fortune from this which is fortune for ores specifically if you couldn't figure that out Next, we have Professional, which got moved down from like up here. Now it is over here, and it's going to be acting the exact same, giving you that mining speed on gemstones. Mole got moved down as well. It's now going to be beneath the core of the mountain, which is what they now call peak of the mountain. It's core, but you can see that this is down here, and it's giving mining spread when doing hardstone. It's just another thing where they're changing the stat, but it's functionally going to act the same. You have Gem Lover, which is giving you four fortune per upgrade here. For some reason, you start with 24 fortune. I'm not really sure what's going on, but it is going to be just gemstone fortune, which is nice. You have Season Mindman over here 
giving you that same XP and stuff. And then you have Front Loaded, which is now fully based on gemstones. And you get three times gem powder, 150 gem fortune, and 250 mining speed for the first 2,500 gemstones that you mine a day. Daily Grind got moved to over here, and it's now going to be one level that is 500 powder multiplied by your Heart of the Mountain level for each of the commissions that you complete. The Daily Powder got the exact same change where it's going to be 500 powder times your Heart of the Mountain, and you're not going to have to level either of these up anymore, but they're going to be on this tier. The next tier, there's a new ability here called Anomalous Desire. This is going to be very useful for people who are mining for Scathas or for any of the rare things because it's going to increase the chances of triggering rare occurrences by 40% for 30 seconds. And if I upgrade to it, I don't know where I'm at on my tree. Let me just get up here. You're going to see that it is 50% for 30 seconds if you have a blue cheese goblin omelet. With a 100 second cooldown, that means you have a 70 second downtime where this isn't active, but it's still going to be very good for Scatha miners especially, and it might even be good if you're looking for mine shafts and only mine shafts, because having a Picobulus or a Speed Boost is probably still going to be better when you're going for like commissions in there a lot of the time. But Anomalous Desire is going to be a huge boost to those chances, and the downtime isn't super, super long. Blockhead is going to give you block fortune, so that's for things like sand, mycelium, uh, cobblestone, I believe, would apply under block fortune. So that's going to be something that's pretty useful for anyone grinding those. Subterranean Fisher is going to give you fishing speed and sea creature chance whenever you are in the crystal hollows and the glacite tunnels. So for anyone going for flaming worms or those dyes that drop from the sea creatures in the crystal hollows, those could be pretty useful. Or eventually, it seems like they're adding some glacite tunnels based fishing it's not in the game yet but it seems like it could happen sometime ever and this perk will be useful in there so if you're fishing in the crystal hollows for whatever reason this perk is going to be a go-to thing because fishing speed you never want to turn that down Keep it cool is going to give heat resistance, which is a new stat that they're adding since they have changed the heat system. Balpet no longer gives immunity, so you're going to need heat resistance if you're mining in the magma fields at all. And keep it cool is going to be one of the main ways that you're able to get that. Lonesome Miner is acting exactly the same. It just got moved spots. Same thing for Great Explorer, but it's in the same spot. And then we have the perk Maniac Miner, which in-game looks exactly the same. But in the forum post, they said that you're going to get an increasing amount of fortune for every block that you break during the ability. When you have a blue cheese omelet, they said that it's going to be 15, I believe, fortune per block that you break. And it's going to use 20 mana per block that you break as well. So you're going to need some mana in order to use this. But you're getting 15 fortune for every block that you break for 20 seconds. So it could be pretty useful whenever you're going for some stuff. I, I have to see this one in action more. And I want to see the actual in-game like tooltip here get updated. But it seems like it could be good. Speedy Mineman is just Mining Speed 2 renamed. Powder buff is in the same spot and acting the same. And then Fortune Mineman is mining Fortune 2. But now instead of giving 5 Fortune per upgrade, it's giving 3. So once again, another nerf to Fortune right there. Miner's Blessing is another one of those perks that's going to be great for Scathe Miners. It's going to give you 30 Magic Find on all mining islands. So just straight up, if you're doing anything that needs Magic Find in this area, you should have this perk. It's going to be useful. It's going to be helpful. And it is going to be in this tier. No Stone Unturned, I believe, got moved, but it is acting exactly the same, where it's just helping you find scrap in the tunnels. Strong Arm has been changed to give Dwarven Metal Fortune, rather than just Tungsten and Umber, which it used to be. And Dwarven Metal is classified as Mithril, Titanium, Umber, Tungsten, and Glacite. So this perk is going to be pretty damn good, just because you're getting a lot of fortune for a lot of useful blocks in one perk. Steady Hand is now going to give you Gemstone Spread, which is a new stat that is affected by Pristine, but it's only in the Glacite Mineshafts that you're getting this, so it's not going to be in the Crystal Hollows. You have Warm Heart, which is a renamed Cold Hearted that's just giving you that cold resistance that it already was. Surveyor got moved down a slot and is now over here, where you're going to be able to find the Mineshafts better. And then Mineshaft Mayhem is acting exactly the same.
Metalhead is giving more Dwarven Metal Fortune. Rags to Riches got buffed where now it's giving more fortune per level here. And it got moved down from the Heart of the Mountain 10 tier to right here. So you're getting up to 200 Mining Fortune in Glacite Mineshafts. And then Eager Adventurer got the same kind of buff where now you're going to be looking at up to 400 Mining Speed in Mineshafts. So they both got moved down and they both got buffed from 2 to 4 per level. Gemstone Infusion is for some reason unchanged. This ability is terrible. Nobody uses it, but hey, it's still here exactly as it was. Crystalline, though, is a new perk that's going to increase your chances of finding a mineshaft that has a gemstone crystal by 0.5% per level. So this is going to help with getting something like the Relic of Power done because you're going to be able to find those crystals and get those perfects a little better. The perfects have been pretty expensive in comparison to the normal gemstone prices just because these crystals are super hard to find. So if you're hunting for those specifically, this is going to be really useful for that. Gifts from the Departed, I believe, got moved somewhere around here, but it's acting exactly the same where you're getting that extra item from looting a corpse. Mining Master is a brand new perk that is basically going to be necessary on anyone who's going to be mining gemstones because this gives you pristine whenever you're leveling it up. And pristine is very good. It's a very good stat, and you're going to need it whenever you're grinding gemstones. So this thing is going to be pretty broken in general. Dead Man's Chest moved as well, but it's giving the same thing where you're getting that 1% chance to spawn an additional frozen corpse whenever you enter mine shafts. And then Vanguard Seeker is a new perk that's going to increase your chance of finding a mine shaft containing that Vanguard corpse. So if you're hunting for Devon's Pendant, then this is going to be the thing that you should be running. If you're hunting for that, you're kind of insane already, but this is going to give you a much better chance of finding that specific mine shaft, and it should just be pretty helpful. Helpful for anyone going for that locket. The last ability here is Sheer Force, and this gives you 100 mining spread for 30 seconds if you're using a blue cheese. But honestly, that's not that good. I, I don't know why you would run that ability when something like Efficient Miner and Mole are giving you way, way more than 100 mining spread already. Like, if you have Efficient Miner maxed out, you're getting 605 mining spread from that. And if you have Mole maxed out, you get 1,000 from that. So it doesn't feel like this perk really has much usage. Maybe I'll eat my words on this, but it just doesn't seem that good. Overall, it seems like there is a pretty nice shift up where you're not just going to be running one tree for every single purpose that you're doing. You're not going to be able to just run, you know, straight mining speed, mining fortune, and do like the same path for literally, oh, it's going to be useful for gem mining. It's going to be useful for grinding commissions in the Glacite tunnels. It's going to be useful for this. No, it seems like it will be a little bit more specified, but I would have liked to see some of the abilities get buffed a little more. I don't get why gemstone infusion goes untouched. Sheer force doesn't seem too good. I, Anomalous Desire is definitely going to be useful in a lot of cases, and Maniac Miner, I'm yet to see if it's going to actually be solid, but it just feels like uh, the abilities are kind of lackluster still. Other than that, I'm very happy to see the change up of a lot of the positions of perks and just making some of them a lot more useful, like the Precision Miner just being available over here is going to be super nice. I'll try and make a video talking about some good builds for Heart of the Mountain once I get a little bit more playtime in with this. I haven't been able to, you know, formulate a good path at all yet. I've just been looking at it and just like, wow, there's a lot of changes here. But that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know down below what you guys think about this new Heart of the Mountain tree. Is this a boom or a doom? All right, that was cringe. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.